For me, it was, it was always Grandma's Woods. Your picture when you're up here is nice mature forest, so picture that in your head and all of a sudden these machines come in and they're taking these trees down and they're running these big machines all over the place and stuff and it's like, it's just a huge shock. Oh my gosh, I, at first I was really worried, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it was almost like a nuclear bomb went off and I called my wife and says, boy, I don't know about this, we're gonna have to wait and see. When landowners conduct a timber harvest, oftentimes it looks pretty rough immediately after the harvest, but forestry is a long-term proposition. And so it's uh, common to have landowners have a little bit of shock right after a harvest, but within two or three years, the trees are growing back and it looks fantastic. That's probably the biggest concern, that it's gonna make a mess out of their woods. And uh, like I say, even though they never go out there, it's just somebody's fooling around with their stuff, you know. <laughs> and it's going to leave a scar, a permanent one, but it's not a permanent one. It's, a, it's very temporary relative to your lifetime and the lifetime of this forest. You know, you come out here after the cut and you don't like it. And then the next year or two, I'm out here and all this briary stuff is growing up. And I'm like, well, how long is this going to last? Well, a couple of years later, that seems to be all gone. And, and it's back to something like this. It's much better off. I mean, I'm a little bit better off with the cash, but the woods is much better off. It's growing, it's maturing, these trees are growing uh, at a faster rate, uh, they're nicer trees. Um, you know, I thought it was such a nice park-like place to start with, and, and I say it's back to what it used to be, but it's back to being better. It's back to something even nicer. If a landowner did not actively manage his woodlot, uh, he's going to, I think, put his woodlot at risk. When I bought the property in 1974, I think it was, it was 74 or 76, I uh, looked at it and I didn't want to do anything until four years ago. And, but it looked the same four years ago than it looked when I bought it. And nothing was happening, you know, it wasn't growing and just kind of a junk crop for a lot of it. Yeah. So anyway, so I wish that I would have started this forestry earlier. So now we got a sustainable forest going here. and. Uh, I'm really pleased. In Michigan, we have natural regeneration. In fact, the Great Lakes, most of the eastern United States. If you do a selective thinning, the hardwood trees will reseed themselves and will re-sprout and regenerate themselves. We call it natural regeneration. Or if you do an aspen clear cut, they will naturally regrow from the roots of the harvested trees. So we don't have to replant trees. They grow back on their own in Michigan. And our trees produce products that everybody uses. So to just come in here and not do any cutting or anything like that, well, we, that, wasn't, that, wasn't, uh, that wasn't an option for us. We're not deforesting by cutting trees. We're growing more than we're harvesting. And by cutting the trees, we're having a healthier forest.